Nuggets. Oh, so golden and true. Guess what, everybody? It's time for another buff nugget. And today is all about GIFs, that mysterious abbreviation that we all pronounce different ways. We don't know what's really correct, but let's just all agree that you're probably wrong and that I am most definitely right. Let me know in the in the chat if you think that's that's true or not. And I want to talk about how we can easily make them in Canva. Yes, not something most people think about when they think about Canva, but most importantly, how awesome they are and why we should use them. Because you know what? They're the party that never ends. You don't even have to hit play on these animated images. I just, you could put them in email signatures, you could put them on websites, you could text them to your friends. It's just a great way to grab attention. And we can make these easily, and it's fun because I like to learn about things that are fun, and let's get to it now. All right, so today I want to show you three different types of GIFs. Uh, this first one is the most simple it is just adding an animated sticker, GIF sticker that Canva already has in their elements and then exporting it as a GIF. We'll do that one first. That'll be the most simple one. Um, and then I want to show you how to make a quote GIF, where these elements right here will come in uh, one by one. We can do a little demo here. I'll show you. And then boom, just like that. Um, and that is going to be level two for some of you. And then we can get a little crazier and then even you know change the dimensions of this graphic and do some crazy animation yeah free form animation so hit play look at that <gasps> look at that magic wand how did i do that wow and then for this next one there's gonna be music with this one even though i couldn't export the music as a gif but you kind of see the idea as i have a I have a, I have a chicken nugget you know floating around on following this track it's pretty cool I'm going to show you how to do all three of those. So to start out with in Canva, especially for this first basic one, I just used a Instagram style shape dimensions. Um, so in Canva, you can just go to social media and type Instagram post. Um, it really doesn't matter what size um, that you that you make these in. Um, I just did that because it was simple and I do produce a lot of square like content. So, so you click that. And for this one, I just, I create, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll go to uploads and I created this screenshot of my, um, let me get rid of that, of my Instagram feed or post. Um, and I just stretched it out and I was like, you know what? I was just looking for a place sign. I was just, I was trying to get some people to click on this and, su and subscribe to my, or follow me on Instagram. So I went to elements and I was like, all right, you know, Instagram. Or I think I did play sign. Play sign. I think that's what I did. I did play sign. I hit graphics. And I was scrolling down. Um, and I think I saw a GIF, a sticker somewhere. But anyways, I'm going to type in Instagram. And here, you don't see any animation. But if you go up here, you can filter on all of your elements and see what type of element you want. I want animated Instagram type elements. And that's where I got that, um, all the count, the count that's growing. And so I clicked it, boom, just like that. It already pops in, it already has a little bit of animation. We just kept that simple. And let's go ahead and look at some of the things that we can tweak in this. I'm gonna get rid of this uh, little thing here. If we go to duration, that gives us that timeline. And we're, we're now thinking of this as video. However, that is 9.6 seconds long, which I, I think is way too big for a GIF. I would make that about three seconds. So what we can do is we can uh, we can stretch that down to three. Around three, doesn't matter. It really depends on what you want to do, but the smaller the file, file size, that's what I'm after. Um, and also, look, here, look how like unzoomed this is. It is just too tight. Over here, we can actually, instead of zooming the page, we can zoom the thumbnail. We can spread it out some. Give us a little more room to make some more, you know, tight adjustments. So now if I click on this, I can right click it and show timing. So right now it's coming in exactly at the very beginning, but I can say, you know, I only want this thing coming 
at the you know the first third it's going to come in so if i go over here I hit play boom but i didn't really get a lot of animation that way i don't really want to do that so i'm going to move it over here back to the beginning we could try it again just like that um and we can also make some other adjustments too if i click on this we also have animate and we can make it do more things but i'm going to have that so this is we're keeping this one basic we're just going to export it as is you know just keep it real simple the next one we're going to go in some more of these um specific animations these different animations so if you say you like this it looks good um, and this right here will look good good in an email signature, a text. I work with a lot of schools, so that could be the mass texting that they send to parents about certain things. Um, websites, you click share, download. I'm going to move that for a second. And we need, need to go to GIF. And I want this around 500 pixels. It could be, you know, 600, 500, some, somewhere around there. And I'm going to download it. Yeah, let's check it out. It's not going to take very long. Just like that, boom. It, it opened it up in Chrome for me. I have it set up in my, uh, my browser to do that. And we just made a GIF, everybody. That took um, that, that thing will play forever. Forever. Sandlot reference. All right, let's do the next one. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold up, hold up. I just found out that 95% of all viewers, maybe like you, are not subscribed to Buff Nuggets. And that would just make my heart grow 10 times larger if you would subscribe and you would always know about these amazing buff nuggets by clicking that notifications icon, leaving comments, telling your friends. That's how we spread buff nugget magic all across the world. Let's get back to it. Also, I was gonna, I was gonna show you this one. This is the quote one that we're about to do. This is in Twitter, actually formerly known as Twitter, now X. And this is a quote that I was able to create um, in GIF format using Canva. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's do it. All right, let me get rid of that one. So this is one I made recently, and it has the same functions. And I'm going to make a new page so we can kind of get some practice with this. So on the left, let's go ahead and get some designs, some different quotes maybe. There's lots of options. Put my head back over here, my very large head. Um, I'm, I'm going to type quote. Lots of quotes. That's the one I just did. Pick one that you like. Sure, this one looks great. And this text, you know, all these are different elements. See the square, the text, everything that can be animated separately. And so I'm going to click on this one. And now we have animate option up here. Click that. If you don't see the animate option there, click edit um, to get more options. So let's click animate. I'm going to get rid of that. And now we have this text do all kinds of things. It's so many options. The blur, breathe, oh, just breathe. I like it coming from, from the bottom, it's kind of cool. Look at that, kind of a slow drift. The typewriter, I did that earlier with something. Just, we're going to pick one. I mean, there's so many options. Oh, let's do that one, that's fancy. Okay, and how do we want to animate it? On the exit, we're going to do it on the enter for this one. Uh, what kind of speed do we want? The movement, we could change all these things. Um, you can kind of see that. It just changes probably the the velocity of the movement. The speed, that's a faster speed. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. And it, they do have more exaggerations. There's all kinds of silly things here. Lots of silly fun things because silly is fun. All right, so now if I click on this element, I if we hit play, let's hit play, let's watch what happens. Look at that. And there, there could be enough. That's enough. A lot of you are like, boom, I have made it. I, you made your GIF. Let's export it just like I, the way I did for the first example. Or it's like, I want another element. And so I'm going to pull up a Brian. Everybody needs a Brian. And we're going to remove the background real quick, just real quick. You know, and I do have those, I have that pro educator account. Um, again, a lot of teachers I work with have those. You can apply to get that. Um, if you don't, you won't be able to remove the background that easy. You'll have to go to some other website and do it. So I want this to come up like right here. Boom. But I want it later. So let's go ahead and change the timing on that. So see the timing. I want it near the end. It's going to pop up. 
So I, I also, so if I click this, you can see we have two different things timing on the timeline here. I have the text and I have my picture. But I can actually animate my picture to do something different. So animate, I want it to, let's see. I like this one when it comes out from the bottom baseline. Boom, just like that. Baseline, and I'm going to change the, the speed. I want a little bit slower. And let's see what it looks like. Let's go, hit play. <gasps> There's the text. Brian, <gasps> export that bad boy just like that. And we just made a quote GIF in a matter of you know one minute, two minutes. And you can just you can have twenty elements on here as long as as far as I know. Now let's get a little fancy. This one, <laughs> we can do free form animations. And for this one, I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I made a new page. It, you, can, you can get templates. You can use you can use any size template that you want. But here I wanted a, um, a path because there was that buff nugget thing floating around. <laughs> Graphics. Uh, so I'm in Elements, and I found one. It was kind of crazy, swirly. Um, here, here's, this is fine. Let's do this one. Something like this. Okay, now that is a square, so it doesn't, I'm not really utilizing all my space. And then I went to Elements, and I found a nugget. Let's pick, oh, back to elements, this cute nugget, okay? It's way too big. I'm going to make it smaller. All right. And now we can animate this nugget if we click animate. And we have create your own animation. So if I click this button, it says, it gives me some special directions. Um, I can... I can hold shift to create straight lines. I don't really want straight lines. Uh, control the speed of your animation, all those kind of things. All right, so let's, uh, how do we start this? Let's see, it's been a while. Oh, just start going. Let's just see what happens. So, so here we go, here we go. Yes. And you can see it. So we're following the track. And it's going to match the speed. Oh, and I think I let go of my mouse. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. And then um, I can still have it do, and I had it rotate earlier. You saw mine. It was rotating. We can make it flicker. And then we can hit export just like we did on the other GIFs. You know, keep it as small as possible. And the file sizes are amazing. It was, I think, less than a meg. The graphic one, I just, I mean, the quote one I did was less than one megabyte. I think it was less than half of a megabyte, which is amazing. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to this wonderful, fun, fun-filled buff nugget about making GIFs in Canva. Tell your friends, appreciate you all. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Buff nuggets, oh, so golden and